Hello everyone, Alexis here. Welcome to Wandering Art. Today I'm going to show you how I made this very cute trinket tray or rolling tray and it's a brand new mold. This glitter is the glitter that's used around the rim of the tray. It is Mirror Mirror Glitter and it's from Laura's Art Corner. I'm going to have her Facebook page linked in the description below along with all of the materials that I use in this video. The glitters that I bought from her are some of my favorite glitters that I've ever had and they're great quality so definitely go and check those out if you're looking for some great glitters. This is a holographic sticker and if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook then you may recognize it as one of my very first nature and space paintings. I got two of my original paintings made into stickers and if you're interested in those you can always email me or find me on Instagram or Facebook and grab a few of those for yourself. The other one is like an astronaut skull painting, also very cool. So something that I want to tell you guys about this mold, probably like the most important thing, is I wasn't sure how to get the edges to be just one color because you don't want the edges to kind of get in everything else if that's the look you're going for. So the simplest way I found is just what you saw me do and what I'm doing now pour a very small amount into the edge like I just poured too much so when I close it it's going to come back up. So you want to pour a very small amount into the edge and I wouldn't even try and pour it on the outer sides I would just pour it on the two sides here and kind of just maneuver the mold so you can like have the resin run down into the other side because as you can see here it didn't really work as well on the on that side. So that's what I would do, is pour it very slowly into the sides and then just maneuver it into the other parts of the edge. If you're trying to get one color on the rim, that is how I would recommend doing it. And then, as always, when you pour the clear onto it, um, the clear is going to push the other colors down, or whatever color you pour onto it is going to push those colors down. And if you're going to do... Um, a different color backing like me I'm doing clear and then I'm doing a different color back you want to make sure that you don't fill up the mold completely when you pour the clear in Sh should be almost filled but not completely you want to have room to ha put a tiny backing in there so I'm just trying to learn how to do this very slowly I'm not great with patience so you really need to have patience if you're trying to get an edge design with this mold Oh, and I was going to mention, this mold, I did get this mold from AliExpress, and it took almost three months to get here, and I was very sad because not even a day after I bought this mold off AliExpress, I was on Bear Mountain Design's website, and I saw that they had this exact same mold for the exact same price, exact same shipping, and it would have got here in probably less than a week. So, um... I, you can find it on AliExpress. I don't know the exact shop, but you can also find it on Bear Mountain Designs, and I am going to link their website in the description below, so you can go and find it there if you are interested in this mold. I have been interested in this mold forever. I'm so glad it finally arrived, and I'm so glad the first piece that came out of it was so pretty. So I tried to wipe off some of that glitter just because when I put in the sticker and the flowers, I didn't want there to be a lot of glitter in front of the sticker or the flowers. So that's why I tried to take some of it out. And then when I put the sticker in, after I pour the resin, I usually like to wait um, like 10 or 15 minutes depending on the cure time of your resin and then give it a slight torch and then put my sticker in. And you always want to make sure you push the sticker down and you kind of do what I'm doing to it right here because if there are bubbles in front of it you can kind of push those bubbles out. And the cool thing about a clear mold for stickers is you can pick this mold up and you can see underneath of it, you can look at it and you can see if there are any bubbles under there. And if there are, you can push those out. Same for the flowers. I didn't have any trouble with bubbles at all in this mold, but that's what you would do is you push down and make sure that you're pushing out any bubbles that are underneath of it. You guys can see my leaves are covered in resin. I edited that part out, but I put the leaves in first, and then I was like, wait a second. You know, I want my leaves to be kind of hidden behind my flowers, so I had to take them out and then put the flowers back in. And um, I did leave a tiny bit of room because I am going to make a backing 
for this. I wanted it to be like a space backing. I didn't want to leave it clear because I thought it would look kind of weird with the dark sticker. So I wanted it to have a dark background too. So while I'm kind of putting these flowers in here, I want to mention to you guys that I started a Facebook art share group. So they all saw this little trinket bowl this morning when I posted it on there. And I'm going to be posting some special um, previews on this Facebook group of a really pretty white and gold geode that I'm working on. It's going to have a really cool twist to it. I'm very excited to work on this ge geode and to share the process with you guys and see what you guys think of it. So if you want to join the Facebook Art Share group, it is going to be linked in the description below. So come and join us on there. I am going to be doing milestone giveaways um, for just reaching um, different numbers of members and all kinds of things like that on the Facebook Art Share group. So now that this is done, I'm just showing you guys um, what colors I'm using to make the back because I my lighting was just awful and I didn't want to bring in the other light for like two seconds. I'm literally only using 20 milliliters to pour a little background on this and you guys saw I used mermaid glitter, black opal glitter, blue ink, and a tiny bit of deep purple from Lorez. And as I mentioned before, all of that is going to be in the description. And um, if you're wondering, for the tray in general, I poured way too much resin. I poured 100 milliliters, and I don't know why I thought, I didn't know, I thought it was deeper than it was. I want to say it only took about 50, um, 50 milliliters to fill the mold, and then I used another 20 to do the backing. And that may even be a little much, what I just said, because I don't know the exact amount of the original mold since I poured too much. And here it is. It's so pretty, you guys. I did have some bubbles in the, um, in the clear spots there, and I think that was just because I didn't know how to pour the edges, so I was messing with the edges too much. So that could be why the bubbles were there. I also tried a new resin. Um, total boat resin and I really did like the resin but it did have a strong smell and I don't know about the bubbles because I had to mess with the mold so much that could totally be my fault but when I test it again I'll go back and give a full review on the resin. Here is the finished piece. I'm completely in love with it you guys. I may be a little bit too proud just because it has my own sticker in it, but I really think it turned out really pretty. Let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you all later. Bye!